Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Karibu Fine Art and I am Priya, the artist behind KaribuFineArt.com. Today we are going to learn how to paint this one with watercolors. one what I have done is I have used these watercolors um, I just went to the store Ikasli art store and got the first watercolor set I found because I have not never used these I could have tried anything and I could have picked anything so I picked these Reeves watercolors and these are the watercolors you can get it uh, from city Melbourne city and I'll put a link uh, in the description below uh, to find it online anywhere else and the only three paints we have used is uh, this uh, ultramarine blue, there is a crimson color and this is ivory black. And the brush we have used is, it is not a branded brush, um, it's just any random ra uh, round brush. This is number 10, you can use number 2, number 3, number 5, any number brush, round brush. Because watercolor doesn't actually, I don't know about anything about watercolor, I'm just like trying something out myself so that's why it's like something which you even you can try and uh, you can try to make it with uh, the baby name on the top whether it be girl or a boy baby name I have used uh, golden paint uh, Liquitex basics uh, golden acrylic paint to put this one together and then I have used the same one for the crown and for the um, the swan I have just picked any random pic picture online, a reference picture because I am um, not planning to sell this one. This is a gift for a friend uh, and then you can put all the details here and actually she has given me this idea. She found something similar online and she uh, uh, gave me this idea to make this one. So it's a pretty cool gift for even you guys. Um, and you can, you know, you can put instead of, an, uh, instead of the swan, you can put a butterfly there. You can put any animal uh, which you like which has colors and which can flow like it's just you have to try out um, watercolors and it's a beautiful medium I have never ever tried it maybe like when I was a kid I tried it but I don't remember how it felt and it's a perfect medium to you know experiment and do a lot of like different kind of patterns like you can see with the water what I have done uh, so all that kind of fun stuff so let's get back to the tutorial now Today we'll start with the initial sketch. Once you put uh, the initial sketch on the paper, uh, I'll just apply some water, clear water, uh, using this round brush on the areas where I want the water color to spread freely and not have any defined edges. So in those areas, I'll just apply some clear water. And after that, I have chosen this uh, pink color. Actually, it's not a pink color. It's a red color, scarlet red color, watercolor. And I have put it on some of the areas where I can see the shadows in the reference picture. Uh, because it's I'm making it for a baby girl, I didn't want it to be completely blue. Uh, so I have used scarlet red and this uh, azure blue color. Right now, I'm going through the darker shadows and using the same round brush and applying the color, the blue color, uh, in the areas where there is uh, darkest shadows. After that step, I have washed my brush add some more water to the painting and smudged all the colors together so as to have so as to avoid all any defined edges once that step is done now i'm going through the details and i'm trying to define the feathers and the shapes better by looking at the reference picture again and again And trying to define the 
shadow areas in a much better way i'm just going with the flow now i'm not it's not necessary once i have blocked in everything all the shadows and light areas i'm not uh, looking at the reference picture again and again now because this is not here we are not trying to achieve any realism or anything we are just trying to achieve uh, an effect you get from a pop art or you want to have bright combinations of colors so that's all I'm looking for. This is uh, something, this is a project which you can do it yourself uh, for any of your friends or family members or for your own baby's arrival. You can make this one in blue color or pink color or whatever shade you choose to. It can be green or yellow or anything. Uh, and so with yellow you can use an orange color for the darker areas. With green you can use a sap green color and a light green color. Any color combination is going to look beautiful with it. And I'm trying, you can see I'm trying watercolors for the first time. I didn't know what brushes to use. I didn't know anything. So. This is something new even for me. So you do anything with watercolors. You just have to make sure you don't define the um, portions a little too much. You have to be a little free flowing when it comes to watercolors. And the art is going to look beautiful. As you can see the, the water portion um, below the on which the swan is um, floating. That portion is just very roughly painted and as you as we proceed I'm going to just let it flow like I'm going to add some more water droplets to it I'm going to move the paper as the water moves I'm going to let it flow so so that it looks as natural as possible you can definitely definitely create um, a lot more free flowing art with watercolors and you can try it yourself uh, if you're not very uh, for this painting the basic sketch I have drawn is freehand by just looking at the reference photo but if you're not very confident with the freehand drawing uh, you can use grid technique you can use a lot of different techniques you can try to use a tracing paper and a carbon transfer paper or something so as to transfer the image so so that your image is really accurate yeah and then once your image is there any colors you use you just have to follow the darks and lights and you can just free flow just the only intricate detailing you have to do is with the beak and the eye for which you can use a very very fine um, like round brush or very fine rigor brush you can use for watercolors uh, whatever brush comes for watercolors here I haven't actually cared uh, which you should not do I have used any random brushes which I use for oil and acrylic but it shouldn't be the case you should just buy a couple of brushes for watercolor and use those you can see now the only portions I'm being careful for is the uh, is the beautiful beak of the swan and the eye portion so it's pretty simple but just that you have to be a little bit precise so as so that it looks very very fragile and very Mm, uh, very nice and defined it doesn't look very rough or big it has to be very thin and nicely defined uh, beak area and eyes we have come to an end of this painting tutorial and this is specially something which a beginner or any anyone can do who is not even familiar with this art form and you can do it yourself you can frame it and this is what you're going to achieve at the end of it um, if you have liked and enjoyed this video uh, please do like and share it and comment on it and uh, um, I'll see you again on next Thursday with much more exciting mediums and much more exciting videos so please subscribe it's absolutely for free see you again on next Thursday